What's up, guys? This is Sim with Benjamin, and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, the number 25 UAB Blazers start off year number five of the Dynasty, taking on the number 13 Florida State Seminoles here at home. If you guys are excited, drop a like, and if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. And we have a little bit of some fun facts to drop on you in this little pregame. Um, so, fun fact. Since it's year five now, all these players, except for the transfers, are now all players that I have recruited. So this is completely my line of work. And also, fun fact, now that we're in the SEC, this is going to be really tough. We also got an instant commit. Look at that. We got a 76 overall instant commit already. So this is all completely my line of work. And this just will show how good of a recruiting process I have gone through so um, anyway how do you think you we will do in the SEC because I feel like with the amount of you know players that we have here now all the good players all the great talent that we have at UAB it, and we all know the SEC is tough we all know it SEC is the toughest conference in all of college football um, but I think we could I think we could still do just as good if not, you know, I wouldn't say better because it's harder to do better than undefeated uh, But I think we could do great things here in the SEC and Do something that has never been done before at UAB and that's win the national championship. I think we could do that. So anyway um, This is also a lot more new faces. We got a new starting quarterback now and we also have a good backup tight end now. We are, our defense has taken major steps forward. Uh, so we just got to keep building. Our defense still does need some improvement, but it is improving nonetheless. It's still like it's still respectable. It's like an 85 defense, and we have a 95 overall rated offense. Taking a look at the top 25, Ohio State 1, South Carolina number 2, and you got other notables in there in our conference like Florida, Alabama, and then you also have our opponent today, Michigan State. You got Ole Miss, uh, Texas A&M, Auburn, Mississippi State, Kentucky, and Missouri. And then you got UAB. So a lot of – I know I said Florida State, but they're an, I know they're an ACC team. But there's a lot of SEC teams in our conference in the top 25. You know, So we got a, a tough competition this year. Um, but anyway, we're up to the challenge. We're ready to take our next step to try and win a national championship. And it starts right here, right now against Florida State. It's going to be a good one. And we will see you at kickoff. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We've been looking forward to this one all week long. A couple of quality teams, both of them ranked in the top 25, and both of them set to square off right now. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. are here at Legion Field taking on the Florida State Seminoles here and number 13 versus number 25 at home on paper it looks like Florida State could probably edge us out because Florida State does have a really good wide receiver that we have to try and defend though then again we are really good at defending the pass considering that we had a corner last year that had 15 interceptions so but I know he's gone now but I mean we have a really good secondary and we have a really good defensive line. So we can put pressure on the quarterback. We can defend the pass very well. And pretty much that's all you need, really. I mean, you, you do need your linebackers, of course, to man the, the field. But mainly our defense has been mostly prided on defensive backs and defensive linemen. Linebacker core hasn't really been that strong throughout our, our five years here at UAB. But it's improving. So anyway, third down is seven. Ju uh, Justin Kelly here. The guy I have so much high hopes on. 
He could possibly be the first ever player in UAB history to win a Heisman Trophy. I'm dead serious. This guy is a stud. He's already an 89 overall, and he's a sophomore. That's how good this guy is. I hope he doesn't go pro because I honestly think he could be something super special here at UAB. But off to Bubba Campbell here for Florida State. And now they're in first and 10 at the 20, actually at the 19 yard line. Here's Wilson handing it off to Martin, and Martin going straight up the gut. And it's going to take it down to the four yard line for a pickup of 15 yards and a first down for the Seminoles. Very, uh, a couple plays later, I guess. Second down and goal here. They're going to hand it off to Martin, and Martin's going to shove down our defender and get the touchdown, giving Florida State. An early 7-0 advantage. So here we go. Second down and 7 for the Blazers. Justin Kelly scrambling to his right a little bit. Gets it off to Donald Hills, who has, again, been a big force on this team throughout the past three years at UAB. This is his last season. Thank God we got Jay Henderson at backup tight end because he's going to be something special too. So Justin Kelly scrambling again. Finds a wide open Brian Green in for Pater. Touchdown, UAB. And Justin Kelly is on fire to start off the game like i said this guy has heisman potential this guy is so good i love using this guy he's he may be better than chris jones i'll flat out say it right now he may be better than chris jones we'll have to see though how that pans out but anyway intercepted by jim harris on the screen pass and now uab's in another position to take the lead here with Jim Harris's interception on the screen pass. You know you can't get many of those past me, CPU. Why do you keep trying? So, again, handing it off. Oh, it's a read option to Justin Kelly. He's going to take it down to the two-yard line. And now Justin Kelly. Man, he is, like I said, he is good. Super good. So, first and goal here. Last play of the first quarter. Kelly scrambling. And he's going to find somebody. He's going to look. He's keep looking. And he's going to get it off to Doug Nash for the one-yard touchdown. It's now 14-3. UAB has the lead going into the second quarter. I like what I see here from the UAB offense. Being efficient and, you know, not making any mistakes, really. But we get another interception here by Thomas Mueller. Look at that play. He's like, I'm going to go up in there and snatch that one out of the air. That's his first career INT, Thomas Mueller. He is a freshman doing that. So Justin Kelly, again, getting this runoff for a big gain. And I think I would have taken that a little bit more inside if, if I wouldn't have ran towards out of the out of bounds line. I probably would have picked up a few more extra yards, but it's it's whatever. We're gonna we're good off. You know, we, you know, we're good. We're good. Touchdown again. Thurman Knox. 21-7. UAB starting to blow him out of the water here. It's getting ugly. And we're number 25. We're you know, last they're the last team in the top 25, and we're beating a team that's 12 spots ahead of us. So we're earning some respect here. We're trying to earn some respect. You know, we're, we're playing good defense. We're playing good offense. We're very opportunistic. We make a lot of interceptions, and, hey, it's showing again this year. So Wilson dropping back, looking to the deep left side, and it's going to be out of bounds. I don't think he would have caught that regardless because uh, he didn't have any feet in bounds. So it goes back. We get the ball back. Second and four, hand it off to Aaron Hicks. Gets five yards and a first down. We're trying to extend our lead just a little bit more. That's all we really want. We're just here to kick some butt, be UAB Blazers here. We're trying to do our thing. Third down and one. We're going to try and hand the football off once again to Aaron Hicks up the gut. Another first down. So we're just doing our thing, running the clock, you know, conserving a little time before the two-minute warning. Well, not the two-minute warning, but the two-minute offense comes out. Justin Kelly. Bulldozing through the defense, getting another first down. He is just that good. I'm telling you. He, like I said, he's a Heisman winning quarterback in the making. Second down and 10 here. 144 left. Justin Kelly getting a quick one off to Donald Hills. Tried to bulldoze the safety, but he couldn't quite get that. But he'll take 15 yards nonetheless. Third down and 14. Kelly scrambling, trying to find somebody open. And he's going to get it off to Doug Nash, but it's not enough for the first down. So it's fourth down and eight. This is going to be a pretty good field goal right here for Adam Green from about 47 yards or 45 yards out. And the kick is up, and it squeaks through the uprights. It's good. 24 to 7 UAB. So here we go. Third and 10. They're going to hand the football off to Martin, and Martin's getting nothing out of that. And we get the ball back with 35 seconds left here. Let's see if we can get another quick score. Justin Kelly dropping back. Looking over the middle to Donald Hills again. You guys are going to be yelling at me because I'm spamming four verticals or whatever. But you know what? In a two-minute drill offense, you know, you got to try and get quick points. So that's what I got to do. 
So Justin Kelly scrambling again, trying to find somebody open. He finds James Hester Jr. on a broken play. 23-yard pickup and a first down. 20 seconds left here now. Can we get this one in the end zone for the touchdown? Kelly, corner of the end zone. Jay Henderson, touchdown UAB. And that is Jay Henderson's not only his first reception, but his first ever touchdown. So that's a great moment for him. Hopefully he has plenty more of those here at UAB. But another interception to end off the half. And we go up 31 at 31 to 7 at halftime. Third down to 7 here for Florida State. Wilson has been struggling. So let's see if he can turn it around here in the second half. He looks over the middle of Campbell, but he drops it. So it's fourth down. We're going to get the ball back once again. Trying to extend our lead to 31 points. We're already up 24. Let's try and make it 31. Hand it off to Aaron Hicks. He's got some room up the middle. Makes a guy miss. And he's got a first down. Aaron Hicks has been pretty good this game. Nine carries, 39 yards. You know, if he's averaging over four yards a carry, he's doing his job. So second down in the inches, Justin Kelly again. Make it like the, like the guy just walked right past Justin Kelly trying to tackle him. He's like, uh-oh, I missed. <laughs> second down and eight. Kelly handed it off to Matt Ford this time. Matt Ford takes it down to the two for a pickup of 10 yards and a first and goal. So we're looking like we go up 31 right here. So let's see if we can pull it off. Kelly dropping back. Looking, trying to find somebody, finds Donald Hills, a little dump off over the defender's head, and gets a touchdown, making it 38-7. to Second down and six here for Florida State. Can they get back in this game or at least make it look somewhat competitive? We'll see. They get it off to Palmer, first down, and a lot more as he gets past midfield for a pickup of 21 on the play. Second down and, or third down and five, and they're going to put their tight end in motion to see if they can get a first down. It looks like they might run. But no, it's a pass, and they do get the completion and the first down. TJ Cruz down to the uh, inside the 10, down to the 7-yard line. And now third down and goal here. Let's see if they can try and get something out of this to end the quarter off and not get blown out as hard as they are. So Wilson looking underneath, gets it off to Young, and Young is stumbling. Trying to figure out something, but he's just not having it. So fourth down and goal here, and they're going to settle for the field goal, making it 38-10. to 10. 38 to 10 is a pretty good score. You know, we know we're pretty good. The defense is playing well. And, uh, you know, just another day at the office for UAB. It looks like we haven't really missed a step in this offense, huh? Because Justin Kelly is just picking up right where Chris Jones left off and more. So we get another touchdown right there, making it 45 to 10. So fourth down and one here for Florida State. This one's pretty much going to end the game if they don't get it. Uh, but they do get it. It's 45-17. And you know what? I was like, you know what? The offense is doing all right. You know, let's just try and get another. Why not, right? Why not? So Justin Kelly again, looking for Thurman Knox. Touchdown again. UAB wins big, 42 to set or 52 to 17. Justin Kelly, 24 of 30, 283 yards and six total touchdowns. He also had nine carries for 70 yards. Just an amazing day for Justin Kelly. And next week, ladies and gentlemen, as requested. We will take on the number seven Michigan Wolverines here at home, and it's going to be another good one. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting these videos. Year five is underway, and we are looking for a national championship. Can we get it? I think we can. It's all a matter of scheduling and all that stuff. We, we, we could do it, though. Our offense is good. Our defense is good. And everything else in between. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I am out. Peace. Yeah.